presentation of anyone who participates mm -hmm. Getting ready quick this morning. I have my first hair client of the week and I will take you along to the salon. All right, so our goal today is to get rid of some of that warmth in there. That is not her natural tone. That is from a previous color and we want to leave some dimension in there but still give her a brighter brighter look. So I went through, did her face framing first, then I did some diagonal back in the front and then went through the back and kind of did some bricklay with weaving and some diagonal throughout the back sides just to keep that dimension in there. And then I went through and did some painting just to brighten up some of those ends near the end. I ended up using 20 volume for this whole process and then I put a cap on the back section only of those foils so that way it kept from those drying out but the front ones could dry out because those are totally done and ready to go. And I normally would start with a lower volume but it appears that her last stylist used permanent for her low lights and her root shadow so I wanted to make sure and break through that. done for the day so I ended up going a little bit past time on my hair client so then I just had time to uh, clean up and set up for my next client which is was a lash client my upper back is really killing today I need to get that figured out I think I need to go to the start going regularly again to the chiropractor because I remember having um, my back felt really good when I did that and I'm gonna go home and use a like chair massager thing that we have. Cause that does help. Better than nothing. She's back. I told you that. So she came back yesterday and it seems like she's okay. So So our goal today was to do something that made it look like her hair's fresh but she doesn't want to have to come in all the time because she is a new mom she hasn't gotten her hair done in a while we wanted to bright up that root area because she wears her hair up a lot and she says it kind of looks darker um, only her bun basically looks blonde so we wanted to move everything up still leave dimension keep everything blended that way it's low maintenance for her I always kind of giggle at this part because I always feel like I make my clients look like a squid. But I do this because she's about to go under the dryer for that back section to keep it nice and moist. Terrible word, I know. But that's what I'm trying to do. Also did some painting on the ends to brighten those up. And why do I want to make sure that that back section does not dry out? It's because as soon as the lightener dries out, it stops working. And here is the raw lift. So I shampooed her, brought her back to the chair, and I did the root tap at the chair so that way I could blend it out. And voila, here is the end result. I did not have time to fully dry and style her hair. Her hair is curly, so I did want to kind of leave a little bit of moisture in it so I didn't make it super frizzy. So I had her send a picture after picture when she got home in natural lighting. This mask has been on for a while. I know I do a lot of masks. It seems like it because I insert them a lot. Because usually when I'm masking, I'm multitasking. <laughs> wow. Anyways, so I 
was picking at my face really bad like all day today i think it because I, I, I was anxious because i had to go to a funeral today and yeah like i picked at this so bad and all everywhere i was just squeezing so i put this on this is the cleanse oat cleanser but on the back it says leave on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask so uh i put this on just to help kind of calm things down a little bit because dang i went in <laughs> and let me tell you it's been about an hour but this stuff does not dry down so i'm taking all i can get right now <laughs> just live life you know so you don't want to follow these rules it's gonna die i told you well i hope that helped you and i cannot wait to see what you do next with your hair please tie. Sure, feels kind of like a sunday today it is saturday but i have no clients today i took the day off so i was gonna potentially be with one of my friends uh, so i'm just gonna kind of do some random stuff today and just enjoy the day take it easy second cup of coffee uh so i i want to drop off some donation clothes trying to get rid of as much stuff as i can before i move and i want to maybe i want to yes i want to go get a spray tan so i'm gonna shower in a little bit and just scrub my whole body make sure my and moisturize to make sure the spray tan goes on nice and smooth and listening to the latest episode of mile higher podcast I've, it's funny because i've listened to this podcast two to three times already and now i'm finally watching it on youtube it's just like it's like a comfort thing for me i just like them but yeah taking it slow today Cause you're supposed to sit up. I am sitting up. Yes, you can. But the truth is, I'm not a little girl. I'm a woman. A 22 year old. Okay, I'm all nice and showered. I did some skincare and I scrubbed my whole body. Basically, I just like to use my washcloth. I find that works nice and I don't know. I don't think it's using a scrub is necessary but it's nice to do that as well. Uh, so I just scrubbed everywhere. And then when I get out of the shower and my skin is nice and like you're, when you, when you take a hot shower, your skin gets soft. So I scrub my, I dry scrub with a dry towel again to further exfoliate. I don't shave, I shave after. Uh, but I lotioned up my body really, really good. Let that sit, let that sink in. And then I brought my uh, primer to spray on my body before I get like when I'm there. So that way my skin is nice and prepped. It's nice to see the sun today. It was so gloomy yesterday. And I will see you at the tanning salon. Choosing Versa Pro. There. All spray tanned. I'm gonna wear my hair back for a little bit, keep it out of my face. I'm gonna go get some bananas so I can make a smoothie later. I ate like shit yesterday, but that's okay. It's okay to eat like shit once in a while. It's all about balance. Was there anything else I wanted to do? I don't think so. Because I think I wanna work, so I'm very behind, but I need to work on some tax stuff. So I think I'm gonna print out some bank statements today and work on that. Where do I wanna go? I think I wanna go to the co-op just because I was gonna go to Quick Trip to get bananas, but let's just take a nice stroll through the co-op. But 
I am going to end this vlog here. I have more hair coming this week. I hope I get even more. But if anything, I can do more of an in-depth. Oh shit, that car is losing garbage out of its back thing. And it's dragging on the ground. I wonder if you guys were able to hear that. It was like, he has like a trailer behind him and there's a piece of like metal trim like dragging out of it. But if anything, if I have less hair clients than I would prefer, I may, because one of them is going to be one of my close friends, so I might just do a deeper dive and have some more information, more clips, more detail in in that. We're going to be bringing her a little bit lighter. She is a brunette, and I have done her hair in the past when I kind of first started, and then when I knew a little bit more, and now I know even more, so it'll be fun to to have her back in the salon. So I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.